Good morning, everyone. Today is uh, I, kind of a special day. I was reading something, uh, done more reading than I, I have in a long time with this pandemic. I like, I'm a reader anyway, but did a lot more reading. And today is an anniversary. Uh, I think some of you know part of my heritage is German. My grandmother was born there. And um, I visited uh, Germany right after I was ordained because my mother, grandmother's sister was still alive. My great aunt, I had never met her. And my grandmother was determined that I should go there to say mass in the church where they came from in south, Southwest Germany, near Freiburg. And when I got there, I, I met them and it was very difficult because some of my uncles had fought in the German army and there was a lot of guilt uh, among my family because of what happened there. And last night I was looking at television and something about Germany and today is an anniversary. And they talked about this that day when I went to see them for the first time. And on this day in 1933, they began burning books in Germany. And there was a man there his last name was Heine, H-E-I-N-E. -E. Um, and he said that once they begin burning books, they begin burning people. That's true, so what happened? So I thought today, you know, no one would ever think of what today really means, but it kind of uh, hit me uh, when I thought about my own family, what they went through and their guilt and stuff. But uh, maybe today we could pray for our country and, and, and we got to take care of it. We, we, we have to pray over what we do and how we think and what our attitudes are because we're, we're in a pretty difficult situation. I really think we are. Uh, and we have the responsibility. And, and of all places, when you think about, I think about where I came from, my roots, it's, it's unbelievable that it could have happened, but it did. And it could happen again. So let's pray for our beloved, wonderful, glorious, United States of America. I think it's a good thing to do today. So let us begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And My sisters and brothers, to prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacred liturgy, let us call to mind our sins and failures, and let us receive from our gracious God pardon and peace. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of your gospel. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd, leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O merciful and loving God, that we may experience at all times the fruit produced by the Easter observances. We make this prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, the one who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. We set sail from Troas, making a straight run for Samothrace, and on the next day to Neapolis, and from there to Philippi, a leading city in that district of Macedonia and a Roman colony. We spent some time in that city. On the Sabbath, we went outside the city gates along the river where we thought there would be a, pe a, be a place of prayer. We sat and spoke with the women who had gathered there. One of them, a woman named Lydia, a dealer in purple cloth from the city of Thyatria, a worshiper of God, listened. And the Lord opened her heart to pay attention to what Paul was saying. After she and her household had been baptized, she offered us an invitation. If you consider me a believer in the Lord, come and stay at my home. And she prevailed on us. 
The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial. The Lord takes delight in his people. The Lord takes delight in his people. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. Let the Lord take delight in his people. Let them praise his name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord loves his people, and he adorns the lowly with victory. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let the faithful exult in the glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all his faithful. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Spirit of Truth will testify to me, says the Lord and you will also testify alleluia 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 the lord be with you a reading from the holy gospel according to john jesus said to his disciples when the Advocate comes, whom I will send from the Father, the one who is the Spirit of Truth, who proceeds from the Father, he will testify to me. And you also testify, because you have been with me from the beginning. I have told you this so that you may not fall away. They will expel you from the synagogues. In fact, the hour is coming when everyone who kills you will think he is offering worship to God. They will do this because they have not known either the Father or me. I have told you this so that when, the, when their hour comes, you may remember that I told you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We're disciples. And that means that we're apprentices of Jesus. We learn on the job. I think we do. In fact, I'm sure we do. And maybe sometimes we don't think about it as Jesus said, remember what I'm telling you, don't forget, keep it in mind. Uh, we work alongside Jesus every day. And we do that, we're able to do that, we're able to carry on. Remember that, there was a saying, I think, during World War II, keep calm and carry on. We're, we're able to do that because we have the sustenance of the Holy Spirit. I will send you the Spirit, that's the guarantee. And that Spirit never, never, never left us. We've left the Spirit. There's a poster one time I used to have in my classroom in Elizabeth, St. Mary's. And it had, if God seems far away, guess who moved? So those are things we, Jesus wants us to remember. So the outpouring of the Spirit guarantees and affirms the life and the love of Jesus in us, in our fragile, broken human personalities. 
And by the way, even though that's all true about us, God loves us just the same. Can't we, we can't forget that. And this presence that we have of the life and the love of Jesus, we call, I think we used to do that in the catechism, remember the Baltimore Catechism? We used to call it sanctifying grace. God's life, God's very life. And that means that you and I can give witness to, as Jesus asks us to do, stand up and be counted, even though it could cost us our lives, and accomplish anything simply because we're in union with Jesus. We can do anything, as Paul said, because of the one who has loved us. So that means our words, and our actions, no matter how insignificant they might be, so ordinary they might be, that's a guarantee that you and I, in the simplicity of our daily lives, really and truly give testimony to Jesus. Let us pray. My sisters and brothers consoled and strengthened by the Holy Spirit, we pray for those who speak boldly in the spirit of the gospel we pray lord hear our prayer for those who mislead others who do violence in god's name we pray for those who testify on behalf of justice and truth and fairness for all people who are oppressed we pray for those who are shunned and shamed by family members or even faith communities, we pray. For those abandoned to depression, addiction, illness, or grief, we pray. For those whose hour has passed in death, we pray. And again, I'm sorry, I uh, don't have the name of the person for whom this mass is being said. Would anyone know who it is? Let's just close our eyes for a minute, and whoever that person is in their family, let us pray for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Hear us, God of all people, and send us the spirit of truth. May the presence of the Holy Spirit, the Advocate, keep us ever faithful to what we have seen and what we have heard, that we may always testify rightly in word and in deed, to Jesus Christ, the one who is our Savior and Lord, the one who lives forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. My sisters and brothers, let us pray that our sacrifice will be acceptable to God, our loving and gracious Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands to the praise and the glory of God's name for our good and the good of all God's holy church. Receive, O loving God, these offerings of your church. And as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also the gifts we bring may bear fruit in happiness for us with you in your kingdom. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just at all times to acclaim you, O loving God, but in this time, above all, to praise you yet more gloriously, because Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us. He defends us. He ever pleads our cause before your face. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the Passover lamb, once slain, who lives now forever. Therefore, overcome with Easter joy, we, your people, sing together the unending hymn of your glory, and together we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Gracious and loving God, you are holy. You are the source, you are the fonts of all holiness. Make holy these gifts of ours by sending your spirit upon them so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time Jesus was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion and death, Jesus took our bread. He gave you thanks and praise. He said the blessing and then he broke the bread he gave it to his disciples and he said, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. When the supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and once more he gave you thanks and praise. He gave the chalice to his disciples and he said, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. And so as we, your holy people, together celebrate this Eucharistic memorial of Jesus' death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this bread of life, this chalice of blessing, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. We pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your people, your church, spread throughout the world. Bring us to the fullness of charity and peace in union with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all your holy people. Remember our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in death in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your compassionate and loving mercy. Welcome them all into the light of your holy face. Have mercy on us all that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Joseph, her husband, with the apostles, the prophets, the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we, your people, may merit to be co-heirs with them to your gift of eternal life, and so praise and glorify you through our union with Jesus Christ, the risen Lord. For it is through Christ and with him and in him, most loving and gracious God in the unity of the Holy Spirit, that all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> and let us pray for the coming of the kingdom as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And do not let us succumb to temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace to us in our days, that by the help of your compassionate and loving mercy, we, your people, may always be free from sin and safe from all distress and useless worry as we await the blessed hope, the second coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you who said to your apostles and disciples, and say to us this morning, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but rather look upon the faith of your people, your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And let us offer to each other a sign of the Lord's peace. Peace be with you, Father mine. Peace, peace be with you. May this meaning of the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Amen. Lamb of God, you take you away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you take, take away the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant, Grant us God. peace. My sisters and brothers, behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus, the one who takes away the sins of the world. How blessed are those like ourselves who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof. Only, only say, say the word and, and I shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring me to life everlasting. May the blood of Christ bring me to life for last.
precious body, precious blood, seen as bread on wine. Hear the Lord keep his soul feast Let us pray. Loving and gracious God, look with kindness upon us, your people, and grant that we who you were pleased to renew by the mystery of this Eucharistic celebration may attain in our flesh the incorruptible glory of Jesus' resurrection. We make this prayer in the name of Jesus the Lord, the one who lives forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon us and remain with us forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Amen. And I just found out today that uh, there's no intention for this Mass. So I'm glad that uh, we offered it for whomever might need to be remembered, whoever that person might have been. Uh, that's the whole point of this uh, praying, the people of God, to don't look upon our sins, but the faith of the church. That's what happens when we do that. So I want to just thank that person for bringing it to my attention. And so my intention really was to offer the Mass for whatever intentions you had. So uh, have a blessed day. God bless. Thank you.